In this episode of Talking About Orcs, we're going to be going over the top five things the orcs need in their upcoming codex to become competitive. Even though the orc codex is probably going to be the last one of 8th edition, we can still start to hopefully see some changes to the army that will make them competitive with the other books out there. And here is my list. Starting with number five, the most obvious is the invul saves, something that was also missing from the 7th edition codex. Cyborg body changed from a 5-up invul save to a 6-up feel no pain, and now we don't have anything. We have two invul saves in the entire book, one for Gazi and one for Badrick, and that's it. We need cyborg bodies to be available for, on characters, and it needs to be that 5-up invul save. Very important going forward. Number four, massive points adjustments. There are several units in the codex which are just so massively overpriced that it's they're just unplayable. The two most glaring examples would be war bikes and the Stompa. Both of these units need dramatic price drops to ever see the table. Even even in fun games, these units just take the fun out of the game because there's just no points left for anything else. Number three, when it comes to psychic powers, no shooting powers, please. In the previous couple editions, majority of the orc psychic powers have all been shooting. That's not what we're about. We don't want shooting psychic powers. We want close combat buffs and survivability. Plus one strength. We got the plus one attack. That's not too bad. We'll keep that. Maybe a five up invul save in the following fight phase. And then you take some mortal wounds at the end of it. Something. Something to give them even more punch and survivability in close combat. Number three. Number two. Rerolls. Every other army has some sort of universal reroll that they can apply to all units. Orcs do not. They have Snick Rot, which can give rerolls in close combat to the commandos. They have Badrick, which can give rerolls to shooting in to flash kits, and we have tank busters. Can reroll the hits against vehicles. That's it. Gazi should be able to reroll everything, just like Gulaman or Azrael. Standard war bosses should be able to reroll ones, like a standard captain. There's no reason not to do that. It would it's something the orcs need, because especially with shooting. So before we go to number one, we're going to go over some honorable mentions. First one is heavy armor for boys. In 7th edition, I took heavy armor on all my boys' units. It was always worth the points. We need that back, especially now. Another honorable mention would be the exhaust cloud rule. Back to the war bikes. If the war bikes don't get a massive point drop, they need something to replicate the old exhaust cloud rule. I would like to see the same jink rule that is used on the raven wing bikes where if they advance they get a four and plus plus invulnerable save. And the last honorable mention would be looted vehicles. And I don't mean the looted wagon that we had in the previous book. I mean actual looted vehicles. Being able to loot other armies vehicles at their given price point at BS5 and gain or keywords. Otherwise They'll be played the same. Or maybe if they really wanted to limit it to Imperial vehicles like they used to do with the Lehman Russ and Land Raider and Rhinos and Predators and stuff like that. We want our looted vehicles back. That's something that orcs have been missing for a very, very long time. Ten years to be exact. And the number one thing the orcs need to become competitive is some way to ignore negative modifiers in the shooting phase. Almost every army has some way to give you minus one to hit in shooting. Some armies can even go minus two or minus three. Orcs need something, probably a stratagem, where you pick a unit and that unit ignores any negative modifiers in that shooting phase. And that is probably one of the biggest things the orcs are going to need to have any chance of being competitive. Because if you're facing a minus two to hit, 
you and especially if you're playing a shooting army there's literally nothing you can do you cannot hit and that in my opinion is just simply not fair or fun in any way shape or form so a stratagem where they where you get to pick a unit that ignores negative modifiers that turn i think would go a long way to solving that so here are my top five slash eight things that i believe the orcs need to be competitive now these aren't things that we're looking for fun things these are things to be competitive in the top tiers of 40k tournament scene so let me know what you think and thanks for watching thank you for watching this episode of talking about orcs please subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for new talking about orcs videos every wednesday new battle reports every friday and hobby videos whenever i can thanks for watching